Traders, I'm going to finish in red here. And um, as you can see, ZM was a great trade, but it almost managed to cover the loss I have in IBM. Actually, it did. If I'm going to close my last uh, <laughs> 100 shares here, I have a bigger winner in ZM than I did in IBM. But um, then came Amazon and uh, took me under for good. I mean, I could have settled for a small green day now. But um, Amazon made sure that I'm going to finish in red. So I'm done for grand. And um, if I go through slow, I mean, just some short details about uh, my trades, because I don't think anything here was uh, extremely interesting. But um, the idea of going long IBM, the one that really took me under today, I had two trades in IBM today long, is the fact that usually when a stock as big as IBM, big large cap companies like IBM, when they gap down, they usually don't gap and go. So I was looking for an opportunity where I thought IBM should uh, stop and come up. I failed twice. And as you can see, IBM keeps moving lower. Maybe now it's going to move higher, but I'm, I've done enough damage today with IBM. So unlike regular, regular, so-called regular stocks, smaller companies than IBM, um, who usually gap and go when they gap that much, IBM or other companies, big, large cap companies, the one that, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't know, uh, big investors would buy, whoever. So think about companies like IBM, Coca-Cola, stuff like that. People would love to buy these kind of companies for years. And when they see a company like IBM down 3-4%, they usually buy. Is it now the buying point? I don't know. Twice, when I tried to buy them today, I failed. So anyway, I'm out with two losing trades in IBM. However, on the other hand, I've got a very nice trade in uh, ZM that really worked out nicely. It was not called by me. It was called in the trading room. I just supported it. I think we shorted it here. Yeah, 560. That was the entry point right over here. And I'm exactly 10 points with my last 100 shares. Um, and uh, it is moving down nicely and hopefully it's going to continue. Uh, the trade that finally took me under was Amazon. Amazon came out with a lot of upside momentum. I kind of missed it here. I was following it. And then I joined it here after a pullback from the highs. I thought it's going to move to a new high. And I had my stop right over here and it failed. So I had a losing trade in Amazon. And that one is the one that uh, finally um, made me finish in red today. So no big deal, small red day. I hope you guys did better and I'm going to see you all tomorrow. So just uh, be careful out there and um, see you all tomorrow. Thank you for, for participating today. Bye traders.